so today we are going to start this series i will say it, it's a series so today is the first webinar on this series so it is regarding the basic basics of cyber security as we know that in today's scenario everyone is <coughs> cyber security is necess necessary for everyone okay so let's start it what is the basic So today's topic is, so today's topic is cybersecurity basic. Why I'm saying it basic? Because in today's scenario, cybersecurity is essential for each and every person. Those who are using mobiles, those who are using computers, those who even in today's scenario, we are using internet on TVs and everywhere. So each and every place requires internet and our cyber world. Okay. So the first we will introduce about cyber world. In this topic, we will cover introduction to cyber world, email and countermeasures, securing on social media, and privacy on the internet. Internet. So first one is cyber world. What is cyber world? So cyber world is a system in which communication over computer network occurs. Critically, if we <laughs> say that the cyber world becomes most popular around 1990s when the use of the internet networking and digital communication were all increasing. So, in terms of social experience, the user can interact, share and exchange ideas, share information, provide social support, conduct business, create media, play games, engage in discussions, so on using the global network. In other words, we can say that cyber world is an online world where we are <laughs> we have the mechanism uh, to transact any business or personal activity as easily and freely as they can transact them in physical world. An environment for sophisticated online computing. What are the advantages of cyber world? That email access information, shopping, online chat downloading software or application. So what we use previously when we don't have access to internet or other thing, we use formal letter for correspondence. It took too much time. Sometimes it took weeks or months or depends upon places where we want to communicate. But once we enter the cyber world or we started using internet, email is the most important way of communication. With the help of email, what we are doing, we used to send any information from one place to another friend within a fraction of a second. In the same way, accessing information. Previously, what we used to do, if you want to uh, any if you want any information, what we used to do? We go to the libraries or we go to uh, we go to the bookshop and purchase some book, and then we want we used to study those books, and from in that way we used to access information. But nowadays, what we have with the help of computer or internet, we can access information within a fraction of a second. These things are on our fingertips. In the same way, when we talk about shopping, initially, obviously, we go to the market, go to the different type of shops, and uh, we used to purchase our belongings, what we need. But we have a drawback. If we are staying in a metro or bigger city, each and everything is easily accessible to us in the market also. But if we are staying in the remote places, we don't have too much access to that lavish brands or uh, many other things which we require in our daily life. But with the help of online shopping, what we, in today's scenario, we most used to these things. We, in just few clicks, we can get our desired things, what we want either or not or we stay in other in remote places or rural places or urban places, it doesn't depend. 
we just go to your our mobile or laptop we just place the order and within one or two or two days or five days and within few days we can receive our product as it is of any brand any quality anything in the same way initially what we used to do for chatting we have telegrams and other mode of communication for instant chatting but nowadays we have uh, whatsapp facebook messenger google talk and many other options with the help of these things we can instantaneously communicate with our loved ones or professionally or personally in the same way if you want anything from internet we can download it easily from the internet so these are the advantages of cyber work which we are using nowadays but we know that along with the advantage advantages we have disadvantages also of each and everything uh, what happened earlier when we used to live in non technical age i mean before cyber world or before internet we have different type of frauds that are theft that, that is mother murder and other things those are manual type of crime which we used to experience 10 years 15 years back but once we are internet dependent or we we are dependent on internet the terms of this fraud are changed these frauds become cyber frauds what we each and every day we use to read on newspaper or come to know that but uh, regarding bank frauds cyber bullying and these things which we will discuss it later so these are different type of frauds which we are, we are facing in today's scenario a theft of our personal information pornography which is a today's uh, major crime in nowadays hacking and stealing of our information okay so first we will understand information security so what is information security information security process and policies typically involve physical and digital security measures to protect data from unauthorized access it is the process of uh, preventing our data from unauthorized access so main uh, components of information security are information security uh, and confidentiality ability and integrity so first we will come to know that what is information in a layman's language information is anything or, or a process data so information it is an asset to all individuals and business information security refers to the protection of the asset in order to achieve confidentiality integrity and ability which we which is known as cia so next is security security can be considered as the state of freedom from a danger or risk for example a nation experiences security when it is its military has a strength to protect its citizen to make the system secure optimum level of confidentiality ability and integrity is to be maintained and is shown by data in diagram below okay so understanding cia threat what is cia threat confidentiality integrity and availability confidentiality confidentiality is about protecting information from being disclosed to unauthorized party integrity it is to protecting information from being changed by unauthorized party and availability is to availability of information to online unauthorized parties only when requested so the goal of information security is to develop and maintain security plan to protect the information the main, there are three main goals of information security they are detection prevention and responses what is detection the most important element of this strategy is timely detection and notification of a compromised intrusion detection system are utilized for this purpose intrusion uh, IDSs are known as the device which we use to monitor our data transportation for any type of unidentified attack or prevention. Security measures must be taken to protect information from unauthorized modification, destruction, or disclosure, whether accidental or intentional. Response: Making important decision or developing policy while under attack is. Receive for disaster. 
Next is cryptography. It is a very common word. But actually, it is a Greek word which means secret writing, which is used to uh, pass secret message from one place to another place. So, cryptography involves the process of encryption and decryption. It is an art of secret writing which enables to send information between participants in a way that prevents others from reading to it. The basic concept regarding cryptography is we have a plain text which we use to uh, communicate with our partner. With the help of cryptography, what we used to do, we add some encrypted key in between our plain text, which is known as encryption. Uh, in computer language, you can say that it is an encryption algorithm. The various uh, substitution and transformation are performed on plain text in cryptography by encryption algorithm. These are the algorithms which we use to uh, embed in our original actual message, which is known as plain text, and we used to transmit it from one source to another place. And in between, if some unknown person want to track it, it is not possible for him to track <laughs> that message due to encrypted message. Again, the reverse process of this uh, is process at the other end. Uh, the encryption method is uh, performed and then the plain message is <laughs> separated from the encrypted message and can be read by the other party. Next is cybercrime. So, as uh, we know that nowadays everyone is addicted to the cyber world or by any means, someone is addicted to for gaming, someone is addicted in chatting, someone is addicted again watching movies by any means we are addicted, someone is addicted to social media so by any one any means in everyone is addicted to cyber world so once we are addicted to cyber world so cyber criminals are also using our this behavior to attack us so what is cyber crime so cyber crime is the crime which is used the internet and computer for illegal activities and the result is known as the cyber crime. The cyber crime are any type of crime that involve a computer and a network. In some cases, computer may have been used in order to com commit the crime. And in other cases, the com computer may have been the target of the crime. The use of a computer to take the altered data or to gain unlawful use of computer or services. So what are the different types of cyber crime? Computer fraud. Computer fraud are known as intentional deception of personal gain by the use of computer system. Privacy violation. Privacy, privacy violation is known as exposing personal information such as email addresses, phone number, account details, etc. on the social media, hacking a website, etc. Identity theft. Stealing personal information from somebody and impersonating that person. Sharing copyright file information nowadays, piracy is a very important. Uh, crime. We see that any movie is releasing and we found it on internet with the help of torrent and each and everything. These are also a type of crime. Uh, crime. Electronic fund transfer, banking fraud. It involves gaining an unauthorized access to bank account, a bank computer network and making illegal fund transfer. Electronic money laundering, ATM fraud. This involves intercepting ATM card details such as account number and PIN number. These details are then used to withdraw funds from intercepts account. Daniel of service attack. This involves to use the computer in multiple locations to attack server with the view of setting them down. A spam, sending unauthorized emails. These emails usually contains advertising. Next part is hacking. What is hacking? Hacking is the heart of breaking security barriers. It can be performed by any computer and internet. Hacking is used by passing the login algorithm to gain access of a system. A hacker is a person who finds the exploits weakness in computer system and or network to gain access. Hackers are usually skilled computer programmers which, with knowledge of computer security, internet played a major role in spreading hacking all over the globe. So what are the techniques used in hacking app? Vulnerability scanner. What it does, it checks computer network for unknown weakness. Password cracking, 
in this process it is a process of recovering password from data stored at or transmitted by the computer packet sniffer it is application that capture data packet in order to view data and password in transit over network spoofing attack spoofing attack involves website with falsify data by is making like a might site and they are therefore treated as trusted site by user or other programs so there are different type of hackers in our society such as ethical hacker ethical hackers are also known as white hat hackers what they do white hat hackers are work for any organization for good cause these are also a skilled person whose main purpose is to provide security control patch management variability assessment and pretension testing is a hacker who gains access to system with a view of fixed and identified identified weakness they may also perform pretension testing and vulnerability assessment these people are known as ethical hacker or pointed hacker next one is cracker or black hat a black hat hackers are those hackers who gain unauthorized access to computer system for personal gain the internet is usually to still corporate data wallet privacy right and transfer funds from bank accounts next one is gray hat hackers a gray hat hacker who is in between ethical hacker and black hat hackers their main work is to break into computer system without authority with a view to identify weakness and reveal them to the system owner another one is script kid these are the person or non skilled person who gains access to the computer with the help of already available tools in the market or internet hacker this a hacker this who use hacking uh, to send messages on social religion and political etc this is usually done by hijacking website and leaving the message on the hijack website next is email and counter measure as in today's scenario we are mostly dependent on email or for communication so we'll see the some security measures about email so what is email email is known as electronic mail is a method of exchanging messages between people using electronic devices first it was in limited use in 1960 and by the mid of 70s it has taken form of new recognized as email email operates across computer network which is today primarily the internet so for sending and receiving email we have certain protocols what are protocols protocols are some set of rules and regulations to govern the data transmission in our day to day life we are also following some protocol in the same way emails have to be from uh, transmitted from one place to another place they will also have to follow some protocols so what are the protocols there are certain protocols first one is smtp which is known as simple mail transmission transmission protocol it was first proposed in 1982 it is a standard protocol used for sending email efficiently and reliability over the internet what are the main features features are it is an application level of protocol in a osi layer smtp is connection oriented it is a connection oriented protocol and it is a text based protocol next one is imtp ठीक है internet mail access protocol it allows client program to manipulate the email message on the server without downloading them on the local computer it holds are maintained by the remote server next one is pop pop is a for post office protocol this protocol is single client which have a multiple version nowadays we are using pop3 of current standard what are the main feature features are it is an application layer internet standard protocol since it supports offline access to the message thus require less internet users time it does not allows search facility now what are the different type of what we face in emails first one is email spoofing what is email spoofing email spoofing is a type of internet fraud of an email so that the message appears to have originated from someone or somewhere other than the actual source the header of an email message is falsify to appear to come from a different sender server in this case what hackers used to do to they used to send us an email which appears to come from our known source or some other source but 
actually these males are from some unrecognized source. Phishing attack. Phishing attack is an email fraud method in which a person sends out legitimate looking email for gathering personal and financial information from recipient. The message appears to come from well known and trustworthy source. The most common source of today's fraud. In this type of fraud, what we what we receive some email from some banking websites or some other website uh, pretending that uh, some KYC is missing or some other information is missing and through this mail we they used to send us some link which uh, redirect us to a third party website which looks like similar to our banking website or the desired website which they want to know the info regarding which they want to know the information. If we monitor it minutely we will find the uh, find it whether it is appropriate website or not by seeing the URL correctly. But most of the time, what we use, we use to fill the forms and submit it. And what happens? It directly goes to the person we used to send us the mail. And in this way, all the info, our all information can transmitted from our system to their system. So this type of attacks are known as phishing attack. What are the phishing techniques? Phishing techniques are link manipulation and filter evolution. Link evolution is a common method of phishing which makes a link in an email. The falsified website it leads to appear to belong to the legitimate organization. Misspelled URL or these subdomains are general tricks used by phishers. Another trick is to make that anchor text for a link appear to be valid when the link actually goes to the phishers site. Filter evolution it is used an image instead of text to make it harder for anti phishing filter to detect text commonly used in phishing email. In this type of filter version, an uh, image is used to use as a link. Unknowingly, when we click on that uh, image, it will transfer our data to the senders. Next is website forgery, phone phishing. Website forgery happens when a victim visits the phishing website Session is not over. Some phishing scams use a Java script command in order to alter the address bar. This is done either by placing a picture of a legitimate URL over the address bar or by closing the original address bar and opening a new one with the legitimate URL. Phone phishing in this phishing mail message that claim to be from a legitimate organization can ask user to dial a phone number instead of directing to a web page regarding support. Once the phone number is dialed out on by Fisher, a person on, or an IVRS unit asks user for their account number, pin, password, and other valuable information. Next is social engineering attack. Social engineering terms used for a broad range of malicious activities accomplished for human interaction. It used psychological manipulation to trick users into making security mistakes or giving away sensitive information. Social engineering attacks happen in one or more steps. A perpetrator first investigates the intended victim to gather necessary background information, such as potential point of entry and weak security protocols need to proceed with the attack. Then the attacker moves to get the victim's trust and provide stimuli for subsequent actions that break security practices, such as revealing sensitive information or granting access to critical resources. Fake mailing attack. Fake mailing attack is a large scale attack where a hacker forged an email as it looked like sir, coming from a legitimate company example as a for a bank. With this intention of tricking the unsuspecting recipient into downloading malware or entering confidential information into a publishing website where it will be accessible to the hackers. Fake mailing attack can be sent to a large number of email recipients in the hope that even a small number of responses will be lead to a Successful attack. Countermeasure. What are the countermeasures we should take to prevent from these email attacks? First one is do not click on any link received through email. Always type or use the bookmarks. Do not send sensitive information like password or banking pins for emails to anyone. In case of any confusion, we should contact the bank organization. Change it. We have to 
make practice to change password at least once in two months and avoid using the same password for the multiple user website. Update the system with security patches and antivirus signature. Set internet browser security setting to high. We can do this in our internet security setting. Avoid visiting link containing at the rate sign in the URL. Always making sure the financial or commerce website content HTTPS before the URL and the padlock at the status bar. Log on properly from all accounts such as email and online banking etc. Close the browser after completing any transaction. These are the basic countermeasures which, which we should follow. We should follow to prevent this type of mishappenings or uh, preventing any type of fraud. Next one is social media. Securing social. First of all, what's come in our mind when we hear about social media? It's about tweet, friends, follow, like, chat. These things come once we think about social media. So, in this section, what we will learn? Introduction to social media, types of social media, professional uses of social media, impacts of social media, negative side of social media, cyberbullying and safety tips. First one is introduction of social media. What is social media? Social media facilitates the development of online social network by connecting a user's profile with those of other individuals and a group. Social media uses web-based technology, desktop computer, and mobile technology smartphones to create highly interactive platforms from which individual communities and organizations can share, create, discuss, and modify user-generated content posted online. Some of the most popular social media websites are Facebook, WhatsApp, Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Google, YouTube, Fiverr, Snapchat, Weibo, WeChat, these are the most popular social media all over the world. The social media websites have more than 100 million registered users. This is the chart regarding the uh, social media users. It is in millions. Facebook have 2,910 million users. YouTube has 2,562 user, million users. WhatsApp. I mean, approx 2,000 million users, Instagram is 1,478 million users, and vice versa. So, in today's scenario, we are using multiple types of social media. What are the different types of social media? They are personal network, interest-based network, e-commerce, media sharing networks, discussion forum, bookmarking sites, social publishing, online reviews. So, if you talk about each of them personally, so person, if you talk about personal networks, what are the personal network websites? These are our WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Google Messenger. These types of social media sites are known as personal network social media sites. Similarly, interest-based network, there are many, many dating sites and uh, matchmaking sites. These sites are known as our interest-based network. E-commerce website we are mostly used to this type of e-commerce website where we used to do shopping online such as flipkart amazon shopify mesu these are the our e-commerce website where we used to communicate through communicate <coughs> for our shopping our e-commerce social media website media sharing network such as youtube and other types of media sharing network, discussion forum, we have multiple blog, blogging sites which used to discussing regarding any separate topic on the okay. internet, bookmarking sites which we used to find any bookmarks or important information, similarly social publishing site. So these are different forms of social media websites which we are using nowadays. So this is the graph showing social media professional use. So uh, maximum use is news uh, and information. Exchange of information with peers, professional networking, research, educational 
So these graphs explain the use of social media in nowadays. In today's scenario. So impacts of social media. What are the basic impact of social media? On March 12, 2016, the World Wide Web turned 27.76 percent people think felt that it has been positive for society as a whole. Although many people enjoy the freedom and connection they feel from social media, it has also had a negative impact on the number and in face-to-face -face relationship and has created a platform where sharing negative thoughts and feeling can be done in a nameless, faceless fashion. Social media networking has also had an amazingly positive impact on the distribution of information and acquiring help and support during natural disasters around the globe. With the help of social media, in 2014, Prime Minister Sri Narayan Modi successfully used social media to communicate his platform for, to the voting public. Since then, many Indian politicians use social media platforms to communicate with their constituents and get feedback on their performances. Negative sides of social media. As we know that everything has positive and negative sides, social media also has some negative sides in our day-to-day -day life. What, what are the negative sides? One of the most important negative impact of social media or network, it leads to addiction. Nowadays, if we assume that once we are started social media, we forget about time. We don't know that we are scrolling our mobile or computer for hours and it seems that we are just using it within few minutes or few seconds. So addiction is very important negative aspect of our social media. Spending countless hours on the social sites can divert the focus and attention from a particular task. And this is the major issue we are facing nowadays that we are deviating from our actual task to scrolling social media sites. Another downside of the social media is that the user shares too much information which may pose threats to them. Uh, in terms of so of now, so of nowadays, what we used to do, we used to do post each and every activities of our day to day life, which provides a very negative aspect and our personal identity, which spread our personal identity to the network, which is very harmful for us. Even with the tight security setting, our personal information may leak on the social sites. Downloading our videos or picture and copying our status is an easy task can be done within a few clicks. Sometimes social media is time consuming to time we spend on social media is more than the time we spend on our family. It's a very important fact that nowadays the time we are spending on our social media is very far much than we spend with our time with our family. This is normal graph which is <laughs> regarding uh, time spending on social media. So 33% is one hour, 0 to 1 hour, 1% 1 is rarely. 6% is majority of the day. Next part is cyberbullying. What is cyberbullying? Cyberbullying or cyber harassment is a form of bullying or harassment using electronic form of content. Harmful bullying behavior can include posting rumors about a person, threats, negative remarks, disclose victims' personal information. These things are very common in nowadays. So one of the example is that someone is sending some anonymous person is sending some text to someone regarding <coughs> sorry their activities in their classroom. So these things are also a type of cyber bullying. So we don't have any right to bullying someone on social media. It is also a crime. So in India there are several strict bullying in the workplace law and regulation levied by the legal system. These laws are supposed to address all type of workplaces harassment, including discrimination, sexual nonsense, and psychological irritation caused by the employer. Section 66A of the Information Technology Amendment Act 2008 deals with the action done for a computer or mobile device that are grossly offensive, insult, inconvenience, injured, or ill will against the person it is directed at. Punishment for sending offensive messages through communication uh, service shall be punishable with imprisonment for a term which may extend to three years or with fine. So, what are the safety tips for securing our social media? 
always we will have to use a strong password. The longer it is, the more secure it is. Nowadays, the normal common trend for the password is minimum of 12 characters, including capital alphabets, small alphabets, numerical, and special symbols. <coughs> if you use we use this type of password, it will be always a super site for us to secure our profile or social media account. Unique account, unique password. Always use a different password for each and every social media account. What we use to do nowadays is that we use this same password for Google, for Gmail, for Twitter and everything. So the uh, <laughs> we will have to leave this type of habit to secure our social media account. Set up your security answers. Always try to set up your security answer so that in case once you forget your password, you will able to recover your password with the help of these security questions. Be selective with the friend request. Nowadays, what we used to do that to gain the pro, uh, what to say that <laughs> popularity, we used to accept each and everyone's friend request or responses. <laughs> we used to try. Uh, except uh, we used to try to make friends on internet, many unknown friends on the internet. So always be selective with friend request. If you don't know the person, don't accept their friend request. It could be a fake, fake account and it cause harm in future. Click links with cousin. Social media accounts are regularly hacked. Look out for language or content that does not sound like something your friend would post. Beware of TMI, too much information. Never share too much information on social media. Be careful about what you share. Don't reveal sensitive personal information, i birth date, home address, financial information, or phone number, and etc. The more you post, the easier it is to have your identity stolen. Once posted, always posted. What does it mean? It means protect your reputation, <coughs> reputation on social network. What you post online stays online. Just take a break of five minutes. Once posted, always posted. To protect our reputation on social media network, what we post online stays online forever. So always think twice before posting pictures or any information. We would not want our parents or future employer to see. Become familiar with the privacy policies of the social media channels. We use customize your privacy settings to control who see what. Always protect your computer by installing antivirus software to safeguard. Also ensure that your uh, browser, operating system, and software are kept up to date. <coughs> Remember to log off when you are done. Sites can use our information. Social network sites are typically free to use, which means they are making their money by advertising to you. And that means that they are collecting information about us. It's <coughs> information shared with outside companies and Partners, what information party plugin software such as Facebook application use from your profile or page content? Review the site's privacy policy and watch closely the privacy settings you can control. 
and search yourself it is a good idea to search your name on google and check out your profile as others see it on social networking sites know what action to take if someone is harassing or threatening you remove them from your friend list block them and report them to the police of cyber crime sir thank you any questions please hello uh if anyone have any query any question please put your question in chat box or you can ask it Okay, then uh, I hope today's webinar will be fruitful and inform informative to all of you. So, uh, at least we are able to know some basics about the cyber security, what we should do, what we should take care of while uh, on social media and email and other places on for cyber security purpose. So, I hope uh, these things will be uh, helpful to you. So one, I once again uh, thankful to Nile team, CDEC team, working professionals and the students of college who have joined uh, in this webinar. Thanks to all of you. Thank you once again.